Hey gang and welcome to your very first View 3 animation tutorial. Now, just really quickly before we start the tutorial, for those of you who want to support the channel and join the gang officially, you can do by clicking that join button right here. It's just 99 cents or pence per month and you get these cool little ninja loyalty badges next to your name in the comments down below when you leave a comment. You can also join by clicking the button right beneath the video if you're watching one now, which I'm guessing you are, it does exactly the same thing. All right, so now that's out of the way, let's get on with the tutorial. So generally, when you have a website, you want it to provide a nice user experience, I hope. So one part of that is sometimes subtle animations and transitions between elements on the web page. So when we use these kind of animations sparingly, they can make a website seem much smoother, more engaging, and generally better thought out. So to demo this, I've got two versions of the same mini website running here, one with subtle animations and transitions and the other one without. So you can make up your own mind as to which one you think is better. So let me demo the website first that doesn't have animations or transitions. So first of all, we have a little to-do list here. I can add a new one to it, press enter, and it adds it to the list, but it was very blocky, it was instant, and there was no kind of subtle transition or animation, and I can do the same thing by clicking these, it deletes them again, very blocky. Now I can go to different pages, and they just appear as they are, again instantly, and very blocky. Also, if I try to add a blank to do, I get this little error at the top. Again, it just appeared on the screen, there's no animations. So. Contrast that to this one over here, which does have transitions and animations. So I'm going to add a new to do by Milk. And now notice it transitions onto the page. It kind of fades in and gets a bit bigger. And if I delete one, the rest of them transition into place. And the one I deleted fades out as well. And that looks a little bit nicer. Also, if we click on the last one, we're going to see another little message transition over here. Nothing left to do. Now, if we go to another page, we can see it transition in like this. Okay, the about thing doesn't look great, but I just wanted to demonstrate we can animate titles and things like that and give them a bounce effect. And if we go to contact, we can see this staggering effect right here as well, which is quite nice. Also, that little notification on the home page, if I press enter over here, then you can see it fades in, slides in, and then does a little wobble as well before fading out. And that just looks a bit better, and it kind of draws our attention more than this over here. I just think the left one looks a lot nicer. So in this series, I'm gonna show you how to add transitions and animations like this to your websites using Vue.js version three. So Vue has some really good built-in transition components which can help us to create these animations. So we can do all of this kind of thing without any kind of third-party library beyond Vue.js. But I will also be introducing you to a package called GSAP, which is a CSS-based animation library, and we can easily use that in Vue apps as well. So GSAP makes it really easy to build slightly more complex animations with delays, stagger effects, and animation timelines, much like this effect over here. So we'll be seeing how to do that as well. So naturally, before you start, you're gonna need a basic to good grasp of Vue.js, ideally version three, since that's what we're gonna be using here. So if you don't, then definitely check out my Vue 3 crash course right here on my channel, first of all. The link is gonna be down below. And you also need a good understanding of CSS because the animations that we create will ultimately be based on manipulating CSS properties. Again, I've got a crash course on HTML and CSS. If you need to brush up those skills, first of all, the link is going to be down below. Now, to begin with, because I'm a super ninja, I've created a starter view project with all of the functionality and pages in place so that we can just focus on the animation side of things from the start. Now to get it, you need to go to this GitHub repo right here, View Animations. The link to this is gonna be down below. And you need to select from the branch dropdown, the starter branch. If you scroll to the bottom, it's right here. So select that, and this is the starter project. So you need to download this. If you prefer, you can clone the repo to your desktop. I'm gonna just download it right here by clicking on the code button and then downloading the zip. Now, incidentally, you can also access all of the lessons code from this repo as well by selecting the relevant lesson from the branch dropdown for example to see the code for lesson 7 you select this branch right here lesson 7 and all of that code is right here 
Anyway, once that's downloaded, you want to open this up and then let me scoot this over here. We need to extract all of this because it is a zip folder. So extract all, extract like so. And then we can see view animations starter right here. So what I'm going to do is open this up in VS Code by right clicking and then going to open with code right here. If you prefer, you can open it up in your own text editor, whichever one you want. I'm going to open it up in VS Code and bring it over here. All right, so this is our starter project. Okay, so in order for this to work, the first thing we need to do is install all the dependencies listed in package.json. So to do that, let's open up a terminal and I'm gonna say npm install. It's gonna install all of those for us and we should see then a node modules folder somewhere up here. And then once that's complete, ideally we want to be able to preview this project in a browser as we go on. And to do that, we're gonna run one of these commands right here. We're gonna run npm run serve. And what that does is spin up a local development server so we can preview this in a browser. So npm run serve like so. And then this is the address we need to go to over here. It might be different for you. I'm gonna bring this over and this is our startup project. So you can see we have this to-do list, the about page, the contact, and all of this works. It's all there, the functionality. We just need to add the animations. So there we go, that is the starter project set up now. And by the way, if any of this did go over your head, definitely check out the view crash course. First of all, it will all become clear once you have a decent view foundation. But next up, I'm gonna walk you through the starter project and all the code inside it so you know how it's working before we start on any animations.